Hello, I'm Seerat Ali, and I'm here to guide you through the process of downloading ESD and accounting data. Whether you are a coursework student working on the assignment or a researcher diving into the depth of the data analysis, I have got you covered. In this tutorial, we will explore how to download ESD and accounting data for a single company versus multiple companies over the several years. So without much delay, let's get started on our data download journey. First, let's talk about downloading ESG and accounting data for a single company. This data can be incredibly valuable for coursework students who are working on assignments, reports, or presentations. Let's pick a company, a BHP Group Limited. Type in the search bar BHP. The first option, BHP Group Limited, Ordinary Share, Australian Stock Exchange Limited. I'm going to click on that. So now I'm on the overview page for the BHP Group Limited. There are different tabs. I'm interested in downloading the financial or accounting data. I'll click on this. I can now see financial summary for BHP Group Limited over the several years. Okay, I want to download not only the financial summary, but also the income statement, balance sheet, the cash flow statement, and some other information. How I can do that? Just click on this Excel icon. You will see various options. You can select income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, financial summary, valuation. Click on export. The Excel file will be downloaded, which has all the financial data that we, we wanted to be downloaded. Financial summary, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and valuation. So you can see in one click, we are able to download all the financial data that we were interested in. Let's now go to the next tab, ESG. Click on this ESG. On the left-hand side, you see various filters. Select the filter, which is all periods. Let's say we are interested in last 10 years only. It will take a few seconds to load the last 10 year ESG data. Once it is loaded, you can go to the Excel tab here, click on it, click on export as values. The Excel file will be downloaded, which will have ESG data for BHP Group Limited over the past 10 years. See, we are currently viewing the environment tab, all the environment data, social data, governance data, and the controversies data. This is how you download ESG and accounting data for one company over the multiple periods using the Refinity workspace. Now let's dive into downloading ESG and accounting data for multiple companies. This is especially useful for research students who might be looking to perform some sort of regression analysis or other types of analysis for their thesis or research papers. How to do that? Let's get started. In the search bar, search for screener. Screener app, click on it. You will see the Screener app interface. Now for this exercise, let's say I'm interested in ASX 300 forms and I want to download ESG and accounting data for multiple periods for these ASX 300 forms. So how I can do that? You see here under the universe section, Click on this drop down. There are various options. I want you to select public companies because ASX 300 listed companies, they are public companies. So I want you to select that. And then here you see indices, lists, portfolios, screens, stocks. I want you to click on this edit. Then in this list, you see three dots here. Click on these three dots. In the search bar, search for ASX 300. Click on the search. See the first option, S&P ASX 300. It has 300 securities. It also shows when was it last modified. 
I'm going to select this and click on this OK here. Click OK again. There you go. We have got the list of ASX 300 firms. Remember, we want their ESG data, their accounting data for multiple companies. Now, how you can do that? If you see here, add columns, here three dots. You can launch data library by clicking on these three dots. It will take us to the interface where on the left-hand side, you can manually search for variables. Let's say if I just scroll down, I see environmental, social, and governance. And under that environmental data, 286 data points, social data, 288, governance data, 157, ESG analytics, 252. Let's click on this. And under that, we have further subcategories. Let's click on Refinitive ESG scores and grades. Let's say I'm interested in ESG score, just an overall ESG score. If I just click and add, let's do it. Click and add, and I don't change anything and click OK. You will see the ESG score of the last financial year is downloaded for all the listed forms, ASX 300 forms. Now let's say if I want to edit this search and I want this ESG score for multiple years, not for just last financial year. So I can right click on my mouse and say edit and it will take me back to the dialog box. So now I'm on ESG score and I want to download it for multiple years. Just click on this series. Now you have an option for how many years you want to download this ESG score for ASX 300 listed forms. Let's say I'm, I'm interested in three years. So I say three years and other things I keep as it is. Don't change much. Click OK. Now you see the ESG score for ASX 300 listed form is downloaded for three years. Now if you want to add accounting data, you can go to the data library again, and you can search here, let's say total assets. Okay, so there will be options coming, total assets. You can also see the definitions, what it means. Total assets represent the total assets reported by a company. Okay, so I'm interested in this. I want series and I want data for past three years. So I say click OK. Okay, so now the accounting data and the example I selected is the total assets will also be downloaded for ASX 300 listed forms. Now ESG data points, there are above 630 data points available in Refinitive. So now you can follow the same process by adding more and more variables that you want to uh, collect. Same is the case for accounting and financial data. There are hundreds of accounting and financial data points available. You can follow the same process to keep adding. So that becomes just a clerical work to keep adding more variables of your interest and download it for your ASX 300 listed forms. There is one trick involved here, which I want to clarify. You might be thinking, as I'm recording this video in 2023, this financial year, the last financial year should be 2022. And this data in the first column, data column that we see, for all the companies, this data represent 2022, but this is not the case. How you can identify that this financial year 01 represent 2022 or 2021 for which company? What you can do, you can click on, uh, right click your mouse on your mouse and click on edit here. Go to the show more options. And in the output, click on edit here. And we are currently weighing only values in our output. I want the date behind those values as well. So I click on date and click done, click OK. Now you see the date for which the data correspond to. So let's expand this a bit. Here, here, and here, OK. So this 33.38 score for ARB Limited is for the financial year 2021. And if you go down, 
is 57.87 though it's still financial year zero for abc this is for the financial year 2022 and if you go further down 57.69 this is for prn this is the esg score but this correspond to the financial year 2023 so you need to be a bit careful in interpreting this result i do see some researchers or some students they just download uh, this data and they consider this financial year zero is 2022 for all the companies and this financial year minus one is 2021 for all the companies and this financial year minus two is 2020 for all the companies and the and they try to do the analysis this will be incorrect so you need to see uh, for different companies they may correspond to different financial years so that needs to be catered for okay so what what else we can do? Let's say after ASX 300 listed companies, you want to add S&P 500 companies from US. What you can do, you can go to this edit section and then click on these three dots. In the search bar, search for S&P 500. Click on this search. There are various options appearing here. The first one, S&P 500. It has 503 securities. When was it last modified is also mentioned. I'm going to select this. Click on OK. So now the S&P 500 and ASX 300 listed companies will be displayed all together. There you go. We can see the ASX 300 and S&P 500 farms are loaded in our screen. So now you might be thinking which company is from Australia and which is from US. What you can do, you can search here and say the country, right here, the country, uh, country of exchange. Yeah, this is what we want to bring it in. Just click on that. It will bring the country of exchange in the last column. Let's say you also want to bring the Eisen codes, the tickets. Just write Eisen, Eisen code, click on that. The Eisen codes will also be uh, added. You want to bring industry group, just write industry. Industry group name, there are different options coming. So you can choose whichever may represent more appropriately. Let's say industry group name, geeks, industry group name. See here, so we have now got the country of exchange. We got eyes and code, and in the last column, we are obtaining the industry group name. Okay, so it looks very interesting. You can keep adding the data points as per your interest. Okay, so our screen is almost ready here. All the Australian forms and US forms. We got the ESG data, we got the accounting data, total assets, and we also got the additional information that which financial year each data point represent. Okay, so that was a tricky thing that you need to consider. Otherwise, all your analysis will be incorrect. Okay, so now I, I want you to add some filters here. Sometimes as a researcher, we may want to work only on uh, non-financial forms. We want to exclude financial forms for our analysis. What we can see in the quick filters, you see the uh, gigs industry sector. There are industry names. So you can select on gigs sector name. Just click on add. And it will ask you, you, do you want to exclude or include any particular sector? I want to exclude. Just bring the exclude here. And I want to exclude the financials, okay? So I want to keep everything as it is. Just click done. And now this screen will be updated by excluding the financial forms. There you go. Now you can see on the screen, the ESG and accounting data for S&P 500 and ASX 300 listed forms, uh, which are excluding the financial sector. 
and the data is for multiple years. Now, the final thing is the data download, how you can extract this data in Excel and then do some analysis. How you can do that, you see this Excel icon here, click on this Excel icon. The data is downloaded in Excel. You can see the company name and identifier, the ESG score, total assets, and some other company information. So there you go. We are done with our tutorial. I hope that uh, you find this tutorial helpful. So whether you're working on coursework or diving into research, the power of ESC and accounting data cannot be underestimated. It can enhance your academic journey and open doors to meaningful insights. Thank you for joining me on this data download journey. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more contents. And as always, happy data downloading. I'll see you next time with more contents. Take care. Have a good day.